Ken Surfs here and another shave video. Hey, I'm excited about this one because I've heard a lot about it. Phoenix and Bows Spitfire. It, uh, leather, juniper, and tobacco. So uh, I've been hearing a lot and I wanted to try it. I wanted to buy it. I hadn't pulled the trigger until I heard uh, Cap, uh, his live video, and uh, last weekend, and they were talking about Phoenix and Bow and all of the good products. And I said, you know, I'm sick of waiting. Bought it right then and there. So it has arrived. So I'm gonna try that soap out for the first time today with my Simpsons Chubby One. I have the uh, English Rocket Gillette, and I've got the uh, Made in England Wilkinson Sword Blade in there. So uh, I'll get that ready to go. And I hope your week's going good. It's been a lot of fun around here. Uh, relatives over. A lot of fun going on. Let me wet my face. Oh, got my caffeine in me. Ah, I'm going to visit my mother today. She's in one of those care facilities 24-7. Uh, so uh, they take really good care of her. And I'm going to go down and bring her her Christmas present. So it's going to be a good morning. See how she's doing. There we go. Ah, oh. been having fun with the relatives over. I had a uh, going out on the Christmas on the boat tomorrow, and I'm sure it's going to be good. In fact, I'm going to shoot some video, and I'll include it in this one, and probably two to three minutes. So. Uh, worth of uh, footage of the uh, boat cruise, uh, Huntington Harbor Cruise of Lights, they call it. And they take you up and down the channels and you get to see uh, all of the houses that are decorated for Christmas. And in fact, I hopefully I've shot the stuff because if I did, here it is right now. It's cold out here. Is that good? I hope so, because I, I haven't shot it yet, so I hope it worked out good for me. All right, I'm lathering this up right now. Oh, time flies. I take a couple of weeks off before Christmas, and the next thing you know, Christmas is here, and then it's over, and the new year starts, and it's back to work. Just nice if it slows down a little bit. 
I miss when my kids were younger, doing all of those cool Christmas traditions, you know, watching all those cartoons and all those Christmas shows. It was always a lot of fun. Ah, oh, this smells really good. Really good. So, like I said, I got the Parasso on. Man, it is spilling out, spilling out of this. Mm, very good. Very good. Only, using, only reason I'm using uh, that pre-shave is uh, very dry skin. There we go. All right, the English rocket. The soap's really slick. And I like that. got some new movies coming out. I saw the preview. I think it's coming out before the end of uh, the year. Dunkirk. So uh, I see Spitfires in that movie. I always love the World War II movies. I saw uh, Allied with Brad Pitt and it was good. Dunkirk looks really good, too. All right. Pass two. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. It's so slick, I'm almost dropping this brush. I did pick up that Duke brush, that Simpsons Duke, and I'm giving it, uh, putting it in my stocking for Christmas. Because my wife goes, you can't keep buying all these things. Make it a Christmas present, so I'll try that out. Maybe Christmas Day or the day after. This is almost entirely a made in England shave today, with the exception of the aftershave I'm going to be using, English leather, and the pre-shave pre, pre soap. There we go. You know, this blade, it's a second use. And someone out there was right. Seems to get milder and better with a second use. And, and that is perfect. No cuts. No cuts at all. Had like five people showering this morning. Hot water's almost gone. Ah, there we go.
it's nice to have a house full of people though. But they've all been coming in here and asking questions about the autographs and what's this and what's that. So it's almost like I'm having to do shaved end tours. All right, English leather. My dad used that stuff too. Very nice. Speaking of uh, English and Spitfires and memorabilia, whoops, I've got something here that I picked up. I got a Christmas present. I was thinking about putting it up in here, but uh, for obvious reasons, I might not. Let me pause this. I'm gonna show you something I got and I thought it was really cool. Check this out. I wanna display it, but I probably shouldn't in an area that's steamed. It's uh, first day of issue. 1965, dedicated to Winston Churchill, one of the stamps. And this gentleman says he knew I'm a fan of World War II and England and English history. So uh, I thought that was awesome. So he gave me that and it's just something I don't think I wanna hang up in here, but uh, I'll keep, I'll keep uh, somewhere special. My dogs, I name all my dogs after famous English people. I've had a Winston, I've had a well, I've got a Monty, I've had a Nelson, uh, an Austin, named after Austin Martin, or Austin Powers, and uh, a Duke way back in the old days. But uh, yeah, more recently, yeah, Austin, Winston, Nelson, Monty. So uh, I'm running out of English names, so these dogs better stick around for a lot longer. All right, well, you guys, thank you very much for watching, and have a great night, and Merry Christmas. It's uh, Happy Holidays, and before we know it, it'll be the new year. So uh, I look forward to doing another video real soon, and until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great day.